Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's class, let's study about the arithmetic mean of three terms of an AP. If three terms A, A and B are given and these are in AP, then the middle term A is called the arithmetic mean between A and B. And let's see how to find this arithmetic mean between these three terms if they are in AP. So we know that if uh, three terms, three or more terms are in AP, then there is a condition that the difference between the consecutive terms are equal. That means the common difference. Let's find it. So the difference between the first two terms are A minus A and that is same as B minus A. Let's bring this A to this side. You will get this as A plus A is equal to this A to the other side. B plus A. So 2A is equal to a plus b. b plus a is same as a plus b. So a is equal to a plus b by 2. Therefore, the arithmetic mean between these two terms is given by a is equal to a plus b by 2. Now look at these two questions. Find the arithmetic mean between 3 and 13, 3x minus 2y and 3x plus 2y. Let's consider the first one, 3 and 13. So, as per the formula, A is equal to A plus B by 2. Therefore, the arithmetic mean between two terms 3 and 13 can be found out by A. Arithmetic mean A is equal to 3 plus 13 by 2. So, that's equal to 16 by 2 and that implies A is equal to 8. This is how we can find the arithmetic mean between two terms. Consider the second one. The same formula can be applied here as well. So the arithmetic mean between 3x minus 2y as well as 3x plus 2y can be found out by a is equal to 3x minus 2y plus 3x plus 2y divided by 2. Minus 2y plus 2y get cancelled. So 3x plus 3x is 6x by 2 and that is equal to 3x. Therefore, the arithmetic mean between 3x minus 2y as well as 3x plus 2y is 3x. Now you can find the arithmetic mean between minus 5 and 41 and m plus in the whole square and m minus in the whole square. Now let's solve few more sums on AP of different types. Consider a question. Sum of four terms of an AP is given as 20 and sum of whose squares is 120. So we have learned in the previous class about the sum of uh, three or more terms. Here, sum of four terms are given. So, let's consider a minus 3d, a minus d, a plus d and a plus 3d are the four terms of the given AP. It's given that their sum is 20. So, when you are adding all these four terms, you will get this as a minus 3d plus a minus D plus A plus D plus A plus 3D is equal to 20. Cancel minus 3D plus 3D minus D plus D. You will get this as 4A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 A's here. So 4A is equal to 20. This implies A is equal to 5. 20 by 4 is 5. Now, the second part of the question, it is given that sum of whose squares is 120. So, we have to square all these four terms and find their sum and the value is equal to 120. So, that can be written as a minus 3d the whole square plus a minus d the whole square plus a plus d the whole square plus a plus 3d the whole square is equal to 120. So, you have to square all these terms. When you are squaring the first term, you get this as a square minus 6ad plus 9d square. Here, the last term is 3d the whole square. 3d the whole square is same as 9d square. Since you have to distribute the square to both the terms 3 as well as 4d. So, 3 square is 9 and d square here it is. Plus, a minus d the whole square is 
a square minus 2ad plus d square. The same way a plus d the whole square is plus a square plus 2ad plus d square plus a plus 3d the whole square is a square plus 6ad plus 9d square and that is equal to 120. Here we have to cancel all the like terms with the opposite signs. Minus 6ad plus 6ad get cancelled. Minus 2ad and plus 2ad. Finally we get this as how many a square will be there? 1, 2, 3, 4 a square will be there. 4 a square plus d square 9 d square plus 1 d square is 10 plus 11 d square plus 9 is 20 d square. 20 d square is equal to 120. This is what you get after cancellation. So from the previous step we have got the value of a as 5 and 4a square plus 20d square is 120. Now substitute the value of a in this expression to find the value of d. 4 into a square square of 5 plus 20d square is equal to 120. 4 into 25 plus 20d square is equal to 120. 100 plus 20d square is equal to 120. 20 d square is equal to 120 minus 100. Bring this 100 to the other side. 20 d square is equal to 20 after subtraction. d square is equal to 1. Cancel 20 from both sides. From this, we get the value of d as plus or minus 1. The square root of d uh, 1 is plus or minus 1. Now let's find the four terms. So we have considered the terms as a minus 3d, a minus d, a plus d and a plus 3d. So here we get the value, two different values we get. The, in first case, when d is plus 1, you get the value of a minus 3d as 5 minus 3 into 1 and that is equal to 2. 5 minus 3 is 2. a minus d is 5 minus 1 that is 4. a plus d is 5 plus 1 that is 6. a plus 3d is 5 plus 3 into 1 that is 8. These are the values you are getting. When d is minus 1, you get this value as 5 minus 3 into minus 1. That is same as 5 plus 3, that is 8. Uh, in the second term, the second term will be a minus d, that is 5 minus minus 1. That is equal to 6. This will be 5 plus minus 1. That's equal to 4 and the last term is 5 plus 3 into minus 1. That is 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. So we get the four terms as 2, 4, 6, 8 or 8, 6, 4, 2. These are the values you are getting. Look at this question. It's given that the nth term of a sequence is 8 minus 5 n. Show that the sequence is an AP. So how can we show that a given sequence is an AP? We need to find the difference between consecutive terms of the given sequence. If that difference is a constant, then we can say that it is an AP. For that, first we need to find few terms of the given sequence. Let's find the four terms. T n is equal to 8 minus 5 n. That is given. Let's find T1. What does T1 substitute? n is equal to 1. 8 minus 5 into 1. That is 8 minus 5 is 3. 
T2 substitute n is equal to 2. This will be 8 minus 5 into 2. That is 8 minus 10. It is minus 2. T3 is 8 minus 5 into 3. That is 8 minus 15. It is minus 7. T4 is 8 minus 5 into 4. That is 8 minus 20. That's equal to minus 12. So the terms are 3, minus 2, minus 7 and minus 12. Let's find the difference. Minus 2, minus 3. That's equal to minus 5. Minus 7, minus, minus 2. So that is same as minus 7 plus 2. That is again minus 5. Again, 12, minus 12, minus minus 7. That is equal to minus 12 plus 7. Again, you are getting this as minus 5. So, the difference between the consecutive term remains the same. That is minus 5 in all these cases. Therefore, we can say that Tn is equal to 8 minus 5n is an 80. Look at the next question. Can 2n square minus 7 be the nth term of an AP? So here the question is to check whether 2n square minus 7 can be the nth term of an AP. So what we have to do? Let's uh, find out the terms here and then check the difference. If the difference is same, then we can say that it is a it this is the nth term of an AP. Let's find the terms. The first term can be 2 into 1 square minus 7 and that is equal to 2 minus 7, it's minus 5. The second term can be 2 into 2 square minus 7, that is equal to 2 square is 4, 4 twos are 8, 8 minus 7, that is 1. 2 into 3 square minus 7 and that's equal to 3 square is 9, 9 twos are 18 minus 7. And that's equal to 11. 2 into 4 square minus 7. And that's equal to 4 fours are 16. 16 twos are 32 minus 7. It's equal to 25. These are the four terms we are getting. Now let's find the difference. So the second term minus first term. 1 minus minus 5 that is equal to 1 plus 5 is equal to 6 11 minus 1 second term 11 minus 1 is equal to 10 25 minus 11 is equal to 14 now look at the difference between the consecutive terms here the first uh, this is 6 and the next one is 10 and this is uh, 14 here. So if you compare the differences in each case we are getting all are different. That means the difference between the consecutive uh, terms are not equal. Therefore we can say that this cannot be the nth term of an AP. Reason is that since the difference is not a constant. Therefore, this 2n square minus 7 cannot be the nth term of an AP. Now, you solve these questions and find the answer. The first one is, can 3n square plus 2 be the nth term of an AP? Just we have completed a sum. The same method you have to use there and check it out whether this can be the nth term by finding the different terms. The second one is Tn is equal to 5n minus 3 is the nth term of a sequence. It's given that this is the nth term of a sequence. We need to show that this is an AP. The same procedure you have to follow. That's all for today. Let's meet in the next class with a different topic. Thank you.